Alright guys, it is storming here like crazy. Holy crap. You're probably not going to be able to see this. But man, we are shaking. that we've got at least 60 mile an hour winds right now. I mean, we are rocking like crazy. Holy crap. I don't know if you can hear that. But this is insane. Freaking me out a little bit. I think Blackie's scared. It's okay, Blackie. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, wait for it to pass. All right, guys, we just lost power. We've never lost power before. We've been in some pretty good storms, but nothing like this. This is crazy. I'm here by myself. Pretty well, I don't even have a car, I can't even go anywhere. I'm not freaking out yet, there's no tornadoes. But they said there is up to 80 mile an hour wind. So that's some strong wind, that's crazy. Holy crap, I don't know if you guys can hear this. But I'm telling you, it is coming down. I'm not opening none of these shades. You never know, something can come flying from anywhere. Alright guys, I'm going to give you another little tip. If you're in very strong storms and things could be flying around, you need to find out what the, the strongest part of your RV is. Like, like the thickest part. I am sitting here, I have the fridge over here, which is a lot for something like a branch to, to come through, and I also have a wall here, and then the shower, and then another wall. So this is about the safest part of the RV to be. So I'm gonna sit here just for a little while while this passes, because this is by far the strongest storm I've felt since we've, we've been in this RV for two years now, guys, and I've never felt a storm like this. It, it's let up a tiny bit, but for a minute there, we was rocking. I mean, I felt like this thing could literally blow over. And that got a little bit scary. <laughs> but I think we're going to be okay. Annie's laying here next to me. Come here, Annie. Okay. Annie hates lightning and thunder. Alright guys, so the radio is saying it knocked out power in this entire area. I guess it hit some transformers or a, or a substation or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's like real serious or it's going to take them a long time, but probably not going to be on tonight. So... Another good thing about living in an RV is the batteries. I'm going to plug in the TV to my power inverter and I'll have some TV. I ain't got to just sit here. I mean, I could watch something on my phone or something, but I was in the middle of something on the TV. So I'm going to plug it in. Alright. Inverter on. And we should have some TV here. And there we go. Now we can keep track of the storm. Well, they took the warning off the screen now. There was a there was a uh, severe thunderstorm warning on the top of the on the top of the TV on every channel in St. Joe in Kansas City. So I think the worst is past, but no power. We have a. I don't know, a little under a half a tank of propane, so we're good there. Fridge is running on LP right now. 
so we should be all right i'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because i usually keep it pretty cold but we'll conserve a little propane and i'll try not to open it storms in an rv can get a little crazy when it starts to rock you know your house don't rock but man <clears throat> I am very thankful that we have batteries and a generator and propane and with no power everything can just keep on going. Pretty cool guys. Alright we made it through the storm. Power was back on this morning when we got up so that was good because it is going to be 96 degrees today with a heat index they're saying of 105 with the humidity here so yeah it's going to get pretty warm so we don't have to run the generator all day to keep from dying in here so that's good Candace is at her grandma's doing laundry for the week I don't scare easily guys for those of you that don't really know me you know I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie but that storm last night it got a little scary i mean it i wasn't i wasn't freaking out panicking like i need to get to shelter or something but i felt fairly safe it just got a little got a little scary i'm not gonna lie should be the next video guys we have pretty much worked out the date we are leaving this rv park for good and hitting the road and we have a couple plans but nothing really set in stone you know as we said before we kind of we kind of plan on winging it on the road but there will be certain destinations you know that we want to get to in a, in a certain time frame but we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next video but we are definitely hitting the road so stay tuned guys next video we're gonna start the countdown Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.